What is up guys, Nick here from Creative Image, and today is going to be a good day. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm giving you guys free presets for Adobe Premiere Pro. What these presets have inside is pretty much we're going to call it the Sam Colder um, <clears throat> transition effect. So what it is, it's the zoom ins from very high and zoom outs from really low, and then the really quick swoosh turn effects. Um, if you guys know who Sam Colder is, you guys see this in all his videos. Um, I keep talking with my hands today, it's weird. but. Um, Inside the info box below, you guys will see a download link. Um, this is going to have all the presets inside of it. And I'm going to show you guys how to install them, how to use them. And um, I think they'll be very beneficial for you guys in your videos. I know it's a little different. We're using Premiere Pro today instead of Lightroom or Photoshop. And um, But I want to start incorporating different things. And I want to make more videos to help you guys out. So without further ado, we're going to head into the computer. And I have some footage I shot today. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so I want to make this video as fast as I can for you guys. I am not in my office right now, so bear with me if you hear any uh, background noise. So in the info box below, you guys will find a link um, to my Dropbox link. And um, all you got to do is click download. And um, you guys can run a virus scan. I'm sick of people in the comments saying, is there a virus? Obviously, I would not put it on my computer if there was a virus. And um, yeah, so just let's have some common sense because why would I put it on my computer? So once it's done, it's going to be in your download folder. Drag it onto your desktop. I already have it there. I'm going to replace it anyway so you guys can believe me. And um, you're going to open up your Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, what you're going to do is usually you start in the assembly page. You're going to um, venture over to the effects tab. And this is what it's going to look like. Mine's on the right-hand side because I like it there when I'm editing. You're going to right-click on presets and you're going to import preset. Find the plugin, which is right here, and hit open and bam. Easy as that. Now let's move forward. Now that it's installed, let me show you guys how to use them. So as you guys can see right here is the creative, Im creative image transition file. And you could slide it open, transitions, and then you have your, um, if you're shooting 1080p or 4K. So the footage I'm shooting is in 1080p. And now you'll see here that some say 20 frames, some, some say 10 frames. Wow, I can't talk today. So anyway, I have um, a clip right here. Um, I'll show you guys what it is. It's pretty much... Right here, I'm up in the air with the drone, and what I want to do is I want to zoom in to the ground level. But it looks really weird if there's no transition. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the middle right here where the two clips meet. And um, what you're going to do is zoom in, obviously. And um, all you're going to do is you're going to hold shift once you're in the middle of the two clips, and you're going to hit the back arrow key, and it's going to bring you 10 frames back. Now you're going to cut in that location by hitting command K. Now go back to the middle, and you're going to do the same thing going forward. Ten, hit Command and hit the forward key, and there you go right here, and you have two cuts. So now the zoom in and zoom out effects are all 10 frames. So right here I have two frames, one here and one here. So it's pretty simple. So now to do the zoom in effect, what you're going to do is first come here and find the smooth zoom in on the first clip. Click and drag onto the first clip, and right here you have a zoom in. Bam. But you see it's very... It's very not smooth. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a zoomed in from zoomed out. So what that means is you're zooming in from a zoomed out position. So now if you look at it, it's boom. Everything's very smooth and it's one big transition right there. Really, really neat. Really, really cool. So now as you guys can see the final clip. Let me show you guys from the entirety of it. Um, right here. So we'll start here. That's not the clip. That's the next clip that I want to show you guys. Okay. Here we go. So I'm up, 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 up. Zoom in. Bam. Right there on the ground. So it looks awesome. So now what I want to do is I want to do a smooth left and a smooth right. But what you guys will notice here on the smooth left and the smooth right is it is 20 frames. And it's pretty much the same thing. We just have to do one more extra step. So I'm going to zoom in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the middle. Same thing as last time where the two clips meet. Let's zoom in a little more. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold shift and go left, cut 10 frames, and go the other way and cut 10 frames. Now, all together we have 10 frames here and 10 frames here. So this transition is asking for 20 frames. So to get this, click over the two, right click, and click nest right here. And what it's going to do is you don't need to name it, just hit OK. And here you go, you have a nested sequence. So now what I want in this image is I want it to turn right. So 
we're gonna do smooth slide to the right and you're gonna drag it over and bam it's really that simple so now let's check it out let's make sure everything's right actually I don't like that we're gonna we're gonna go left so I'm gonna show you guys how to how to go left now which is the same thing just slide a different transition on it and bam right there so now let me zoom out a little so I can watch the whole thing come back and let's play it. No, well, it's because it didn't render. Bam! Right behind the tree, and that is that. So, that is how you guys use these transitions. There's multiple ones. To do the zoom out, you do the complete opposite of this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to zoom out first, and then you're going to zoom out from zoomed in. So, it's just the complete opposite. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy these free plugins, um, transitions. Um, it's really simple. So yeah. All right guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that and you guys learned from it. Um, incorporate these into your footage. Um, the next video I have coming out for you guys is going to be, um, how to install LUTs. I have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of LUTs for you guys. So, um, for you guys that don't know what a LUT is, I will explain that in the next video, but it's pretty much a lookup table. It's how to color grade your video footage uh, even further. So, I have a bunch of like Sam Kohler presets that I want to give to you guys for free. I have a couple of pre-made ones that I made that I'm going to give out for free. Um, I know you guys really enjoy the free stuff, so for now let's just keep rolling with the ball and let's keep making videos and showing you guys how to get better and better. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!